Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing the 10 pan challenge or I'm going to be starting the 10 pan challenge. So project 10 pan. Yeah, that kind of thing. So if you don't know what project 10 pan is, basically you pick 10 products. Now for my sake, I'm going to be picking only makeup because I have finally, finally, finally got my skin to a place that I am happy and I'm comfortable and my skin was never bad to begin with but when it flares up it flares up therefore I want to stick with the same products but I recently have sorting through my makeup and trying to filter in new makeup and bags of makeup don't know why my eyes are watering we'll just ignore that um into my makeup drawers and also been finding that I have far too much for one person. Um, I've been finding that my makeup bag has been bulging because I've been going into my drawers, picking out a new product to use and popping it in the makeup bag, but never replacing it or putting it back into the drawers. So I just find that I have far too much. When I've been going through, I've been finding old holy grails, things that I've been neglecting, things that are like so 2018, like, you will see um because i'm gonna obviously do this and then i'm also gonna do a makeup collection tour type thing um very soon so subscribe if you want to see that but that is kind of the reason that i'm doing project 10. i'm probably going to edit this and think you just jump 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 but hopefully that um hopefully you understand what i mean so as i was saying you basically pick 10 products now i'm going to be picking makeup as i had said but you can go into skincare and beauty and that kind of thing but i'm just going to solely be picking 10 makeup products now this means that i don't need to use these every single day but i'm not allowed to buy any new makeup products i do fortunately get some in pr um i don't get a lot of pr but I do get some so if there is any new products that I have got those have been sent to me. So again how it works you pick 10 products and then if one product is empty you basically replace it with another product. So these products that you first pick are your 10 like starting products and the like challenge will finish when the last original product ends like finishes. So I'm hoping this isn't going to take too long, but like long enough that I'm not going to be spending because I spend a lot, a lot, a lot of money on makeup and there's no need for it. So I've took inspiration for this video from Emma's Rectangle. So what I have done is I've done a full face full of the products that I have picked. I haven't done anything for my brows or my eyelashes is that it could be setting powder i haven't picked um but i'll run through the products in a little minute and you'll basically see what i've picked and yeah i've kind of created this little look with it so i also do love to do my monthly favorites you guys know i do and i haven't done them for the longest time purely for the fact that I've had the same things working for me so to come on here every single month and be like these are my monthly favourites it's going to be the exact same video just like copy and paste so that's why that hasn't been here but I'm going to start it and um, back up again and update you on project 10 pan and everything like that but without further ado let's get into the products let's get this horrible hairband off of my wrist ignore the fake tan it's tan day but let's get into the products and see what i have chosen okay so product number one is the p louise block clock pore perfecting primer so this primer i absolutely love although I have neglected it's about half full i think it's the only product you can't properly see um i'm pretty sure yeah it's the only product that i've picked that you can't properly see but 
you can kind of see if you squish it down um but i absolutely love this primer it blurs the pores it really helps like sometimes i do get a little bit oily in the t-zone and this just helps minimize it throughout the day so i absolutely love this i don't know why i neglected it it was one of those ones that was at the bottom of the makeup bag and haven't been used in the longest time so uh, this is in here just to kind of get it used up be like fall in love type thing um, because as I said I've done my makeup drawers again and I've found loads and loads of primers so I kind of need to work my way through them. So product number two is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. So this one has got maybe about three uses left in it if we're lucky. Um, I've given it a shake because obviously I've used it today. But yeah, it's not got a lot left. Although I have just done a Sephora order literally before. Um, I think it was about three days ago or something so it was like it's not after this if you know what I mean um, and I have ordered another one so I'll pop this in project 10 because I absolutely love this foundation it's so lightweight but full coverage but like daytime and nighttime going to work chilling in the house like it can be wore anywhere but I have a lot of foundations so I do want to use this up kind of get on to the next one um, and kind of take it from there but I also like to use skin tints and more lightweight things especially when it is going to work as much as that foundation is very very lightweight I do want to wear something even lighter something that is even quicker in the morning for when I go to work because I ain't spending an hour doing my makeup. I don't spend an hour doing my makeup even with that but I just want something that's really 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 quick, easy, a quick something to chuck on, a wee bit of concealer, a wee bit of bronzer and I'm out the door rather than this kind of stuff that I sit down and film with. So I've picked the Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1 Glow. So I've got mine in the shade 1.5 medium and as you can see it is getting there. I've used most of it. I wouldn't say it was like fully full when you buy it. Um, but I like that it does squish it down. As I said it's a 4-in-1 so it's a primer, concealer, highlighter and a BB cream. So I absolutely love this if we're chucking on, chucking on a bit of bronzer and I'm out the door. Plus again it's something that I haven't used in a while and it's something that has taken up room in my bag. I seem to buy loads of these like kind of things. Um, so I've got loads back up even though it is running very low but yeah I seem to buy loads I'll try it once or twice or fall in love with it buy another one fall in love with it and that kind of thing so they just constantly get neglected so I've got plenty of backup of things that are similar and yeah I just want to use it so I can make more space then for concealer I've got the Maybelline Eraser Multi-Use Concealer because again look how much is left I want to use it up I absolutely love this concealer apply a little bit apply a lot up to you and you get the desired coverage I love just popping it on like red patches um, or using it to highlight it's such a good concealer but again for only having that left it is taken up that little bit of room okay so i don't know if i'm gonna shoot myself in the foot with this one but basically for my cream bronzer slash contour i am going to be using the chanel soul detail so this is the baby one i went to harvey nicks in edinburgh not too long ago and this week actually um i was wanting to get another one of these and they doesn't have the full size so for some of the brought out smaller size don't know why i think it's more maybe people prefer it in the summer they brought out different shades not a clue so i bought this one so it is literally brand spanking new it blends so seamlessly you literally don't even need a lot so i could be shooting myself in the foot i know that the big one on average lasts me anywhere from about nine months to a year 
that's not on an every everyday use that's on like my everyday use where i don't wear makeup every day so yeah i'm not sure how long this one's gonna last me um this one could be part of the reason that this could go on for so long but i'm not sure but anyway absolutely love it so 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 glad to have my hands on it again and hopefully it is at the end so i can go and buy another one so for bronzer we have hula bronzer now if you are a long term subscriber you will know that i can't get enough of this product like i can't I don't do any makeup tutorial, nothing without this bronzer. I had done a massive cult beauty haul when I had COVID. Was it wasn't last year, it was the year before. Um and I got the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and I was like, I haven't found anything that has came and took this place. Um and the Charlotte Tilbury one had and then somehow I ended up back on the hula so we have hip pan um, a hip pan not too long ago but if you do have a hula bronzer you will know getting those last little bits out of it is the worst part so yeah just because I've hit pan doesn't mean that I'm so far on because there's plenty left at the sides um, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. I will update you obviously on like monthly favourites. So for blusher, again another benefit product is the Rocketeur blush. So I absolutely love this blush. It's such like a pretty oh, pinky <laughs> shimmery colour. So it saves obviously highly. Sometimes I do put highly on, sometimes I don't. But again... I haven't even hit pan on this. Blush isn't something that you use a lot of. So trying to use this product up is going to be hard. Um, I don't even think there's a dent in it. It's basically nearly full. But it is one of the older products. It's one of those ones that I've been sitting in the drawers. I've kind of came across it. I've realised I've liked it. So that's why that is in here. Because it has been there a little while. Probably is expired but it sits on top of everything and it's fine bringing back the good old days this is going to be my eyeshadow so i've got two little pans here now i don't wear a lot of eyeshadow i normally just take my bronzer and run it through my eyes just to give a little bit of color rather than a full-on eyeshadow palette so when i was looking through my eyeshadow palettes to try and find one there wasn't a palette that I thought I'm gonna like use most of it but I came across these now I must have bought these I would say probably 2017-18 these are old but these are little matte pans and we have cork cork if you know, you know, is the shade that every single beauty influencer at the time used. This was always the shade that you took a little tap off and ran through your um, like eye socket to start off the eyeshadow look. This was it. And I remember when I was in the shop and I seen it. I was in love I was in love and then I'm pretty sure I'd done YouTube I'm gonna go back and have a look actually um I'm pretty sure I did upload videos and I thought I was the bee's knees either that I was in one of those situations where I was pretending there was a camera in front of me when I was doing my makeup but there actually wasn't um so I thought I was a bee's knees using this but this hasn't even got a dent in it. Yeah, there's the other one. The other one is charcoal brown, but the two of these together, I've not put too much on today, but the two of these together create the most beautiful brown smoky eye. So I have picked these. I would like to at least hit pan soon on them, but I want to use up cork and hit pan on charcoal brown because charcoal brown is the shade you put on the outer corner where you don't use as much so I'm gonna 
say I'll finish cork and I'll hit pan charcoal brown and we'll kind of see where we go but I'm going to need to try and get like a little magnetic case because for all the years I've had these I still haven't got a case that was so weird that my camera just done that oh my god so setting spray wise I'm going to go with the beauty crop we sherry hydrating setting mist so if you are obviously a subscriber you will know I like to dry my face I will spray so much setting spray so it all melts together like butter it all becomes one and that almost finishes the look I don't often go with a matte look I will powder and powder and powder again but this will get sprayed again and again and again so I didn't get this one too long ago you can see I've made a good dent in it it's the second bottle if I go on to another one I'm going to constantly come back to this one so I really need this one out and then I can start to use all of my other ones that I don't go near um, which is so sad because I absolutely love it and it's like a TikTok fave but if this one is in my life I'm not going to use any other one so we're going to get this one used up and then we can venture into the other setting sprays that I already have. And then for lipstick, this video is full of it. I have got MAC Velvet Teddy. Now I picked a bullet because I thought we'd be able to see how much is left. So as you can see, there's not too much left, but I don't wear lipstick every single day. So this isn't going to necessarily be one of the ones that go quick. Because as I said, I don't wear it every single day. I wear it on days I'm filming, maybe days I'm off work. Don't necessarily wear it at work because sometimes it's just more hassle to reapply and reapply and reapply. So I normally just wear a lip balm or gloss or whatever at work. So this one isn't going to go as quick as we think. But it has got a good dent in it and you can't even read the label at the bottom. It's that old. But that is my 10 pan products picked and shown and I can't wait to see the progress. So as I said, I will be including these in monthly favourite videos. So that way you can see any changes. Maybe I'll be able to see them looking back, comparing. Um, and we kind of can do this together. Because as I said, I spend far too much money. And this is just a way to save money. To try and get through the makeup that we've got rather than bringing in new makeup we can use the stuff we've got and if we genuinely realize we don't like something get rid of it rather than putting it back in the drawer so this is a good challenge for anyone to do but if you did enjoy today's video don't forget to smash a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye